here we are, Fiat 500 classic 1960s car, the Italian version of a Mini. Um, 500cc air cooled, 11 horsepower or something ridiculous. Anyway, we were asked can we do something with it, so what we decided to do was put a Subaru engine in the back. Now I have a direct hotline to God, and God said that fits absolutely perfect. Unbelievable, it slots in, neat and tidy, nice little engine, a lot more modern obviously, and again, a little bit more reliable I would have thought than the little fit was from all those years ago. So we've got a 1.8 Subaru engine in, we've had to make an adapter plate, various plates and brackets and things to fit it, and we've also had to plumb it because it's water cooled from the back to the front. So what we did, we took the pipes, a bit like we do with a Mini, took the pipes under the car, straight to the front, and you'll see under here, you've got your original fuel tank, um, we've put a battery, and then the radiator pipes come up and into a nice neat little radiator. Well, it's certainly got a lot more torque than it had. What a machine. <laughs> brakes on it, we've upgraded it so it's got discs all around now and uh, that seems to uh, help the braking a little bit. It's got a nice little turn of speed to it, plenty of torque as you'd expect from a Subaru engine in a little tiny car like this. It's actually smaller than a Mini, would you believe? Um, and it, I fill the thing, I reckon two fat blokes like me and it wouldn't go very well but hey ho, we'd be shoulder to shoulder. We'll just see what it turns in like, and it turns in very well. It's a bit oddball being left-hand drive, because obviously I'm more used to changing you and my left hand. However, we can uh, still manage. You don't need to change gear very often, to be fair, but it's got that much grunt. So we'll go down my little demo route that I do on the minis, and we'll just see how it uh, copes with that. So I'm still in top gear, actually, and I'm doing no miles an hour, and it'll pull top gear from nothing quite unusual. And this actually was a very tidy little car when the guy sent it to us and the conversion's gone very well. You've obviously got to put a radiator up front and run the water pipes under the car but it's okay, it's, it's fairly quiet inside. This road I'm going down now is a very bumpy little road uh, and it does test the suspension quite a bit. It's, uh, brakes seem good. Into third, turn in, she just tracks on 
built some unusual cars over the years. People always ask us, can you do this, can you do that? And I always say yes. And yet again, we've done it. Sewer engine, Fiat 500, fits a tree. Pull up and uh, 